All right, YouTube, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. And with this one here, we're going to knock out the nearby um, random side gig first. And then we're going to do Takamura's nearby quest. So, figured I'd grab this one here because there's two missions that we can do that's nearby the Takamura one. So, it's this one and another one. So, worst case, if Takamura's quest isn't that long, and I don't think it is, I think it's the one where you just got to gather intel. So it shouldn't take that long. True love comes to die in Night City. Husbands cheat on wives. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce and talk behind each other's backs. Man, that's any time period. Truly, I am shocked. Yep. Sucks. That's why I'm not getting married, probably. I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. Okay. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us, V. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving, but perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details. Oh yeah, most definitely. Man got screwed over in the court system, you know, I'm not surprised, but you know. Yeah, we got that. Uh, go into the apartment, okay. So, do we got to sneak up to the apartment? Shouldn't this go off? Because I got, like, I'm chromed out, so. <laughs> but then again, I guess everybody's chromed out, so. All right. All right, there we go. See what they have up here. Locked. Shit's always locked. And that doesn't even have anything. And nothing. Okay. Guess we can't do anything up here. Uh, am I just supposed to go up to his apartment? There's a few missions where you got to break into people's houses like this, but uh, usually most of the time you got to sneak in or do some trickery at the front desk with the uh, with the attendant to get the key card or something like that. But I guess this one you could just come on, come on up. Life just letting everybody hit, you know? Don't matter who it is. But yeah, in between parts, I uh, just to show you, cleaned out my inventory. I put this mask on because I'm probably going to redo my uh, my gear setup. Probably after this quest, because I have a few items here that I just went to the store and bought. I got this nice white and gold suit right here that we're going to put on that we can get at our next level. And I have a pair of gold pants I'm going to throw on with that. These here. And uh, I'm going to try to be professional, you know, walk around with a suit and tie, except have it be white and gold. Maybe I could be like the future version of John Wick, but use my hands instead of guns. Oh, hostile area. Okay, I see no cameras. So if this is hostile, am I just supposed to bust my way in? I feel like that's feel like that's kind of wrong. I mean, I could do that, but there's no window right here, so I can probably do it this way. All right. Why is this window just wide open? Seems kind of weird. All right. That's probably the way they want me to get in if I have tech, but we have both. I have tech, strength, and I got some good black calves, so we can get it a few different ways here. I just can't remote. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. He didn't detect that. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I can probably jump up here and access a different way. In the worst case, if I can't, I can sneak my way into that window. Since all we gotta do is steal some checks and we gotta remain undetected, so... Yep, there's a way in. Huh. It's like they got bars in the window, so we can't go in like Batman would. Hmm, nice little jacuzzi, though. Uh, I should really invest in the stuff that lets me ping cameras that way I can detect everybody, but worst case, you can always save scum it. Oh, there's a camera. Oh, it's a radio. What, did they see me? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. 
<laughs> Didn't even realize they saw me. Okay. Yep, let's load that back up. Okay. So, we can't take a look. That camera that we saw, that probably saw me. So... Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Oh, that was a... Okay. I did not realize... Okay, so that's what saw me. Okay. I didn't realize that's what that was. Okay. Those are tripwires. Okay. I got you, game. Okay, so we can't go in that way. So those are tripwires, so... So we can't go in that way either, or this way. So... How... You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Oh, I can't jump back up there. So yeah, we probably have to take that window then. Unless we can get in this way, which I doubt, but... Yeah, see if we can probably hack our way past these doorways, we'd... Ooh, come on, hold on. Somebody left a window open. You didn't see me. Alright, so yep, this is our way in. Now we just gotta work around those security bots. And I don't know the pattern to none of this stuff, but they're all on the second floor, so if that's the case, all we gotta worry about is that camera right there. Right, look the other way. And I can probably do this. We can crouch all the way over here. We can turn that off. No, 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 no. Oh, they saw me. <laughs> you know what? That's what I get. I tried to sprint and turn it off, but I guess I won quick enough. Okay, so... Okay, weird that they put me up here, because we damn sure saved the game down there, I think. But okay. Um... Ooh, another way in. Oh, what are you? Alright, where is this gonna put us in the kitchen? Shit! Oh, fuck. Well, wow, damn. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that sucked. Alright, note to self. Don't take that way. Just gonna open up to see if we get any points for it and grab these components real quick. Alright. Yeah, our best bet is probably that. Uh, ooh! When did the drone come outside? Come on, drone! Just stay messing with the plan. Could probably jump down there and get in that window. Are you gonna stay looking that way? Yep, okay, we're gonna risk it. Alright, so he's probably gonna probably make his way back in eventually. Oh, that's why the window was open. The drone cycles through. Ah, oh, crap, he's gonna come back through. All right, so I can't stay here. See, I was going to hit that camera room again. Crap. That drone's going to come back this way. I just know he is. Uh, crap, let me, let me get in here. All right, you're going outside. See, I don't know if my optical camo works on them. I would assume it doesn't, but... 
since I would assume they would detect things by thermals. Alright. Now that he's over there, let's go this way. Because if I can get that camera, when that camera's looking off to the right, or right now, since it's looking over there, we could turn you off. Yep. And if I can get those other two, we can walk around up, oh, can't cross that. Alright, so we probably gotta go up these stairs. Alright, come on, camera, look away. That drone comes over here. Yep, there we go. Yep, we should be good to access what we gotta get. Oh. Is there a camera in here? No, that's the turret. Okay, that drone may come back. Let's go in here. Let me stop looking around. Let me just do what we gotta do. Maybe we could turn the stuff off from here. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's what we came to steal. <laughs> the blinds in my kitchen are broke. That's exactly how I got in. Thank you. All right. See, if I turn off her security system, technically that should make it seem like, oh, somebody invaded my security or breached my security, as they say. So let me not do that because we could just sneak our way out and let that be that. But then again, if the stuff goes missing, that's telling them the same thing. So. All right. Uh. See, I don't know if turning this off is going to shut down her system for a bit, but we can just sneak our way on out of here. But she may have something else for us to take. Let me at least try it real quick. Let's do this. Let me save. And then we can uh, try this and then maybe it might give us like two minutes or something to search the apartment. Yeah, so, yeah, that drone down there got blown up, so he dropped the legendary component, so we can grab that. And that other one, too, so she might have some stuff we could pick up here. Yep, components. More stuff. That's locked. This is where the drone was. And she had a bunch of stuff in here. It looks like a bunch of components. And let me, um, hold on. Let me turn on that, um, that activity log. Because that's getting kind of annoying. How, like, I'm picking up stuff, but it's not actually showing me. I think there was an option for an activity log. I think I turned it off. No tutorials, no crowd density. Uh, what would be on our interface, maybe? Activity lock, there it goes. So I'm going to assume that'll give me a list of everything I pick up in a corner or something. Cause sometimes it comes up like when like if I'm in combat it may come up, but other times it doesn't, so at least now let's see. Yeah, see now it shows up there on the left, so I don't have to actually go in my inventory to see what I picked up. Alright, let me come back over here because uh she might have something. It looks like she got something in the pool. Alright, what else over here? Junk junk. Junk. All right, that might have been it, YouTube. We probably are done. Nope, I missed something on the inside. Okay. Wish we could just jump off the building or something, but <laughs> gotta go back to that uh, that elevator. Uh, let me get that green thing. That's probably another health aerosol spray. Nice little apartment, though. I wish I could get something like this for me. Oh, that was straight up money. And an aerosol. All right. 
Yeah, my loft apartment doesn't look this good. Hell, even the corporal apartment doesn't look this good. Mm, okay. Well, I guess I'm out of here. Mission accomplished after safe scumming. The people in the game won't know, YouTube. As far as they know, I, you know, went in and out smoothly. No problems. It's all good, though. Maybe I get a bigger reward for doing it uh, undetected. All right, uh, I guess we got to go drop this off, don't we? Yep. Oops, since we're here, it's the wrong one, but we can do this. So, you and you. Probably got to dump my shotguns back in my inventory at my house eventually. But until we do that. Discreet and with finesse. Something I cannot say about Mr. Gutierrez is the force. Marvelous work, V. Closing the contract. All right. Oops, sorry about that guy. All right, did I hit level 26 yet? Uh, no, I did not. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, oh, that's even better. All right, get my tech ability back up. Spend this perk point in something. That would be useful. Uh, nothing that's going to let me craft that drone, huh? Maybe that. All right, yeah, let's do that. Because because eventually we're gonna be crafting uh weapons and stuff too. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got uh, an NPCD. Where's Takamura's thing? That's down here. Okay. So we got this one nearby too. I'm not sure what this is. So we also got this one here. Let me see. Where is this one? I know the uh, the vending machine one is somewhere around in here. I don't know exactly where. I want to say it's outside of the uh, the um, uh, crap, the housing structure buildings, <laughs> uh, the ones from Judge Dredd outside of those mecha complexes. But yeah, let's see. Let's knock out these two other ones here, and then we're gonna hit up Takamores there. And I'm guessing this may be that vending machine one right there, but I don't plan on doing that right now. So let's go there. And what else was I going to check? Oh, yeah, the crafting bank. Because we can see if we can craft that drone now. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Nope. Still block. No tech deck. Oh, yeah, that's right. We needed the thing. Hold on. I took that off. I have one of those because we bought that. We need the, the brain thing to do that. That's right. Uh, I forgot all about that. Where is... Did I sell it? No, these are mods. That's right. I need to go here. Yeah, we might have sold it. Oh, damn. I think I did. I think I remember looking at it. It was like, oh, well, those drones kind of sucked anyway. All right. I got to buy another one. Have to buy another one. Okay. Well, first place. Put these mods on here. And I got to remember that I actually have this because I got to actually use it one day. Uh, increase crit chance about duration by one second. Yeah, that's going to be real useful. All right. Yeah. Once we get that back, then um, I'll try to, you know, we can craft that drone and see what we can do with him. But until then, we got our berserk that I got to remember that we actually have. Because <laughs> that might actually help me out in uh, fist fights and stuff like that when I'm surrounded by people. Uh, 500 meters. We need to go this way. And I also got to fix that, fix that cyber arms mod too. Cause I had a uh, game myself gold and chrome cyber arms and I want to, you know, I want to get that to go with the, you know, the, the, you know, all the style we're exuding with the white and gold. So <laughs> I got to fix that or take it off. So. Uh, looks like we're going down here. Olive branch. V, have a look at the attached and go to the given address. 
There, you will take a car from Sergei Karasinski. Your job is delivery to the Tiger Cross. The car only, I mean, not Sergei. <laughs> Everything understood? I got you. Pretending like I'm playing Fallout, doing a courier mission. Okay. 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 So he made a mistake and he's trying to make up for it. You, Sergey? You, Sergey? Nice of you to ask. Lately, I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey, who fuck with Tigger Claws. <laughs> I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. Tigger Claws. <laughs> yeah, how'd you piss him off? You piss off the tiger claws. Ah, uh, it was just a friendly misunderstanding. <laughs> sure. This man, he look normal, beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And they also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? <laughs> misunderstanding involve you shooting him? It was worse, much worse. Ah, I say too much already. Did you shoot John Wick's dog? <laughs> Is this an Easter egg for John Wick? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I don't remember what that um, what that guy's name was in John Wick One, the one who uh, killed the dog. But what's his name, Sergey? Don't seem so nervous for a man in your situation. Uh, but you see, I'm in home stretch now, one base away from freedom. How are you so sure the Tiger Claws will accept your present? Oh, trust me, I know. We Russians have very refined intuition about such things. And you are just delivery boy. Eh. Don't tempt me. I'm out here, you know, being the Baba Yaga of these cyberpunk streets. All right. All right, then fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I'm just saying, John Wick used guns. I could run up on you with my hands and go to work. Presence the car? It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. Okay. Don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. <laughs> this ugly car? Why do I feel like you have something in like the trunk or inside the side panels of this car? Uh, yeah. Oh, I stopped him. Thank yeah, God. thought so. Quick, let me out before he returns. Yeah, I made a deal, guys. So, uh, not my problem. You tickled my interest. How much are we talking? It's unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? <laughs> You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. Just lots of blood. Oh, you ain't saying nothing about money, so... Yeah, I've heard that before. Nope, not my problem. He obviously pissed off somebody, so. I feel like this thing is like piloting a boat. It's like a futuristic Cadillac. <laughs> I want to know how this thing, how does this thing turn left and right with those two wheels in the front like that? I would hate to put, you know, tires and brakes on this car, like, probably be like two grand. See, if this was for like one of the other fixers I don't like, then, uh... Oh, it was right here. That I'd, I'd probably agree with that guy if he was willing to pay me. But uh, this is for Wakako, so like I'm cool with her. So it is what it is. 
bring it around back. Uh. Oh, exit the vehicle. Okay, we are around back. I was like, do I gotta back up and drive it out? But yeah, supposedly. Did Sergey tell you anything or? We good. He just texted me the info. Fucking clown. Run over the shoe and tell him a package is here. So that's it. Sergey's off the hook now. Now you're best. You're not needed here anymore. Good point. Not my problem. Just gonna check mine and you know take some of this if you don't mind. What do we got? Uh, sniper rifle ammo, pistol, junk. What's this? Uh, crap. Yep, take that. Don't worry, guy. You'll be all right. I'm sure they're gonna treat you nice and right. I see you do not ask unnecessary questions, V. Nope. You simply do what is asked of you. I admire such an approach, and I know how to compensate it. Contract closed. Man. Easy money for me. All right, uh. You buy her? Well. Yeah, I know. I've been here like five times. Okay. Uh, so you. And I think that's pretty much it. All right. Damn, the truck is balling. All right. Uh, we got one more. Which is somewhere. Unless that was the second one. I don't think it wasn't that one. Yeah, was that it? I thought we had another one, like... Was it this one? Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's see what that one is. It's down the block. Ow! Car, I hate you. All right, let's go see what this one is. Then we can hit up that Takamura quest. Ooh. I went the wrong way. Excuse me. Right outside my uh, apartment right here. Is this something that's in my apartment? Yeah, it looks like it may be. What a fucking shit star. B, Wasn't I need you to acquire something. Like your whole Only thing. me. No sure, client. when I was scared so out beyond all recognition. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. Yeah, this is my apartment. Okay, is this that other apartment that's in here? Because I've already kind of went through that guy's apartment, so. Uh, here we go. Cause I went through that before going to my apartment when I first bought it. So, all right, what what, what we got to pick up from here? Uh, okay, what are we looking for? Yep, there we go. Uh, what are we looking for? Oh, hold on. Well, well, well. Secret doors. How cliche. Why do peeps have to be so goddamn predictable? Hey, like, secret doors are awesome. I would love to have one in my house. All right, how do I move this? Which which one do I press? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it slides out from here, but how do I... Hmm. Is it computer controlled? Hmm. 
No, nothing there. All right. I would assume that there is a button or something, unless that's turned off, so we don't activate it that way. So... Nope, that's the closed door. I'm not seeing anything else. Is that it? What is that thing? Hmm, maybe that's just part of that vending machine. Oh, here we go. Oh. Must be connected to those doors. Or a shitter flushing somewhere. Who knows? Alright. See what we gotta take. Doubt it's that. Ooh, skeleton key. Okay, that's what we're gotta take, I guess. To the tiger claws behind what goes back. Tisk tisk tisk. Claws aren't the deal on her in type. Let's see if she got lucky. Mm, something tells me she didn't. Mm, since we're here, we go up to my apartment, even though I think we're living out of the other one right now, but it should all still connect to the same system. And I can deposit those shotguns that we're not using. Clean out my inventory a bit. Yeah, see, this was the um, the Asian style apartment, and this is cool, but it's like two rooms. YouTube, I I can't get down with that. But since we're here, we wash the blood off me here. All right, so that'll give me a little bit of buff, so. Uh, where's my wardrobe? No, that's what I'm looking for. Let's deposit. I want to hold on to this one because this is the only tech shotgun that we have. And as soon as we craft that other one, we can replace this one. Uh, that's our only one of the combat shotgun. I love that one, so we're going to keep that. I wish I could put Skippy in there, but I can't do that, so that's technically a quest item. Um, uh, don't need 50 flavors of shotguns either. So let me keep that. I'll keep the legendary one. And let me see some. Let me take the suppressor off this one and see how much damage that does. See if that's more than the other one. Because if that's more than the, the tactician, then which it is not. Yeah, that tactician is better. Wait, did I... Did I take the suppressor off the wrong one? Hmm, that's weird, because it's still on the gun. Did I... Could have swore I took that off. I only have one poser, so what the hell? It's not on there, but how, then how come it shows up in my in this list when I'm in here? Yeah, see how it shows up with the suppressor still on it? Like, that's super weird. It even says it down there. Like, I'm still getting the mod benefits of having the suppressor on there. All right, so what with the suppressor is 346. Without it, it's 462. Let me just do it this way. Or better yet, even better. Let's do it this way. So that's 462 versus 499. So yeah, I do not need that tactician in my inventory. I do not need that. And that's almost... Uh... Yeah, it's still... Okay, that, that legendary is still going to be my best one. I wish I could find a legendary of that, um, that poser. I like that one. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know why it's showing the suppressor on here. That's super... Weird, a weird kind of glitch there. Okay. Yeah, and that's uh, 440. So even the tech one is a little bit close to it. So, yeah, let me put that in there. 
Uh, for now, I'll put this smart one in there. I don't need this double barreled if I have this one on there because that's with a suppressor. Well, not with a suppressor because I think I took that off too. So, yeah, we don't need that in there. And I guess if I have the other one because that's 460 something without a suppressor. So, uh, I think they hold around the same kind of sort of damage. I like the poser better than the crusher, so let's throw that in there too. And uh, I guess we can keep that on for now. I guess if I that's non-lethal, so I guess if I put that on and punch somebody, then it'll be non-lethal damage. It'll knock them out versus taking them out. Uh and these are all the clues that I wanted to keep on my person. Because I'm going to make a couple outfits once we get to... Oh, we are level 26. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that's even better. Now I can put my uh, my new stuff on. So let me put, put that on. Let me take off this. Man, I look stupid without my outfit on. So we got that. Um, guess we can leave the shirt on. That doesn't matter. And... Uh, we got the face mask. I was going to see if I could put the scouter and the face mask on, but I guess I can't do that. Yeah, it's either one or the other. Okay, I'll leave that on. And I can put my gold pants on. And put my gold shoes on. Got a couple pair of those. Let's see. Here we go. Rock that. No. No. Nah, that's good. But yeah, white and gold sneakers are still the best. There we go. I want to take off this stupid hat, but we're, we're going to do that in a second. Let me see. Can I put something in? I need some clothing mods in my life. I have no clothing mods whatsoever. All right. Yeah, it's a good thing I saw that. Okay, where's my wardrobe? Here we go. Let's make this one outfit real quick. Uh, yep. Okay, looks like I can't do both. Okay. Okay, da, 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 da. this on. There's my gold pants. Definitely got to get rid of that dress. I'm not ever putting that on. Crap, I backed out. Crap. I did not save set up in. All right. Do I have any kind of headpiece that kind of goes with this mask? Definitely not that. That's just not going to work. Uh, if this was an all white helmet, I'd, I'd put this on, but that's not going to work either. I'm not a fan of those hats at all, so. Eh, the colors go with this, but I just, I just look like a stormtrooper. That's not going to work either. And I don't have anything else that really fits. Yeah, I'm not a fan of baseball caps either. All right, get that up off of there. All right, uh, which one? It was a few of these. It wasn't four, five, and six. I want to say it was like three and four. No, I like that one. I like that one too. Okay, so what was the number one? Because I know I had this purple outfit, so okay, so yeah, I can replace two. Yeah, that could be number one. We can go with that. And as soon as I fix that mod to get some gold cyber arms, we should make our hands match. Should be good. Out here looking professional. All right, what is this? Ooh, a gold bike. Okay, how much though? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see, maybe it'll show me. Uh, I don't want to track it because that's going to take off what we have. But that should make it show up on the map somewhere. Is it this one? I think that's a bike too. That's 58. 
71,000? Jesus. That must be a good bike. All right, maybe towards the end of the game, we'll buy one of those bikes. Especially if one of them is white and gold. All right, let's get up out of here. Oh, this is the apartment. I thought we was on ground level. We were not. All right. Now that we got the car, we match everything with that. Uh, how far is that? Why is that taking us up to go left? Oh, okay, so we gotta go all the way down there. Okay. Maybe we gotta go steal what he gave to the uh the tiger claws. Alright, let's go steal Wakako's property that she paid for. Ah Okay. Surprised I did not hit anything that time. Wired head. Oh. oh, sorry, sorry. Accidentally mashed the brake. I froze up. All right. Uh, looks like we got to go downstairs. No, oh, it's right here. Hey, it's this place. Okay. Looks like we do go to interesting places. Um. I can knock that guy out right now, but are we supposed to? Since I'm here and all. He might have like the best armor in the game if he doesn't fall through the world. Uh, crap. Well, I was going to loot his body. All right, where do you go? Do you just go downstairs? Because I can just take the stairs. Hold on. Yeah, something tells me you're just going to go down one floor. Yep. Alright, hostile area. Okay. And turn you off. Uppercut! Yes, yeah, alright. You can use that on me. I'm immune to fire damage. Oh. Not actual firepower, but... Hold that. Yep. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, you had a strong gun. Oh crap, he moved. He moved. I don't care, that, that, that shouldn't hurt me. I am completely immune to that now. I, I bought a couple uh, more cyber mods off camera and I had to choose between fire, shock, and uh, poison. And I chose fire because fire is the one that you get hit with most often. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Let's see, can we do this? Oh! Oh! No! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Looks like things are working out in our favor. Thank you for thank you to the other guy who was pushing up behind me right there, but he he did not come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did not realize they were gonna put me in a pincer movement, but I guess it doesn't matter. All right, that guy has no health, so that means I can probably do this. 
dive in a royal we oh, sometimes do sets on Friday nights. <laughs> Crap, did not mean to do that. Uh since we're here though. Uh Okay. Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong look, one sideways glance, and you'd get steel between the wrists. Okay, first guy's dead. Ah, oh, crap, he has. Yeah, throw all these poison ones back there. Maybe we can take them out all at one time. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah, cool. Your gun was damaging. Uh, okay, well, um, hold on. Let me give you a lap dance real quick. Yeah, there's one to remember. Ah, uh, yank that right out of your booty. And what did you have? Alright. Alright, now that we cleared the place out, let's see if we can find what I'm looking for. Yep, there we go. And anything else in here? Yeah, might as well check their computer too. Okay, so that's like the same messages they were talking to before. Huh. And to think so many people died for this tiny little shit spec. It's not the size that counts. It's how you use it. You and I know no one actually believes that. <laughs> uh sad but true. Like luckily I've never been one of those guys who needed to hear that, but you know, it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. Motion in the ocean and all that stuff. Uh, okay, that was another side way in. Oh, this was our hallway. All right, what was this door back here, though? Another way in? Yep, guess so. Okay, ooh, components? Ooh, I could put that on another one of my shotguns. I have that on the um uh on the one shotgun that I like. I can put that on um probably the uh the fancy one I got. Oof. Don't remember doing that. Alright, let's see. Anything over here? Nope. Nope. Got some. Couple vests. And maybe that guy's body. Nope. Still didn't fall through the floor. Okay. That kind of sucks. Alright. Let's go turn this in. Usually they keep the things nearby, so. Oh, excuse me, guy. Said, excuse me. Don't make me mess you up. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Police. Just passing through. Alright. Uh, yep, here we go. Uh, uh, oh, you just going to the second floor? Guess so. Because the thing did say go back and it was running us around, so it's probably taking us to the upper level. Yep. Probably went over here turning in. You won't be needing that no more, guy. But still, just like that guy from the intro. 
Yeah, since I'm here. Sell all these guns that we picked up. And no melee weapons, okay. I see you were able to find the lock breaker. Splendid work. Keep it up. Crossing the contract. All right. Okay. Let's go hit up Takamura. Ooh, level up perk. Uh, let's see. Any more crafting things we can do? Uh, I do do that a lot, but that's a waste of a point. Yeah, that would be beneficial right there. Grants immunity to shock just across the board. So I could be immune to fire with the item that I have. And then be immune to shock with this. So yeah. Then we just gotta be immune to poison. Not that poison's really a big thing. Like it's usually just burn and shock that you get hit with. So there we go. Me talking more right around the block. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Except we gotta go upstairs. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, guy. I did not mean uh, to take you out. I'm sorry, lady. But since I'm here, let me... I can't... Okay. Can't grab your chest fat. I tried. I was trying to get that item, but... Alright. Let's go up to the top floor. And I think in this mission, I think we gotta talk with Takamura. We gotta go get some food with him. And then we got to break into to a place nearby, so this should be a short one. Yeah, I remember we had to sit down at a food stall or something. Does your Asaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Zoot, He's no, got the what? gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. You're a wanted man. What you doing talking with cops? I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. <laughs> Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, that running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Of course he did. Let us move on. Damn, you're just leaving nothing to the imagination, are you? Take control of the floor. I see you out here, bruh. You're, you're a fan of the white and gold, too? Okay. I just recently joined the club. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Okay.
think we had to break in there, I think. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used I broke into the tower. This is nothing. Now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? What kind of cyber mod does she got? I want, I want a phase. I will watch your back. I want the speed force mod. You, you good, lady? You didn't get stuck, did you? No. Okay, she's banging on the door. All right. Uh, guess that kid just ripped, a, ripped, ripped this open. I don't know if they have guards in there, though. I think there was another way in, because I don't remember going in that way. I think... Yep, here we go. Let's be like Silent Snake in here. I'm going to rip open those doors when we leave just to get the points, but I just don't know if they have any uh, guards, which they do not. Okay. Makes it even better. Yep, I'll take their coffee. They won't need that. And computer. Oops, hold on. Fucking worked. All right, let's get up out of here. Oh crap! We can't rip it from this side. Okay. Uh, okay. That was weird. Oh, they opened the door for me to leave. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we can't get the points for it. All right. Two bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shot works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that, gotta get something to eat. Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. Um, can I eat my yakitori? Is this? Hey, yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we have Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three. I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. I want to eat my food. Probably nasty as hell since it's not real, but <laughs> I think everything is Night City is like synthetic food, so that's why he asked, you know, for something that wasn't local. All right. B? Is this your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes, but we have no choice. Hanako sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. 
Let him stray even a couple of feet. You can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go with him, V. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yori Nova, in the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a provocation? Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. So. <laughs> all of this shit. <laughs> Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Well, tell me about them some other time. Well, why'd I ask if I didn't want to know? Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Finish my food. <laughs> Pay good money for this. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. Yep. <laughs> come. I have found a good place to observe. Uh. Oh. Uh, don't just spawn out of my booty hole like that. We oh, we're doing this mission. Oh, this sucks. I thought we were done. I thought that was it. <laughs> I was about to go give me something to eat, you two, but no. We had to break into their plants and, and, and gain access to the floats. Okay. All right. My first time through, I was Corpo. So I kind of talked my way through the front door. So by us being a street kid, I guess um, we can't do that. So I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do it. Fortune smiles to us. 
It seems no one is here today. Let me save the game here too, if I can. Because I want to test out something too. I saw a YouTube video where somebody jumped on an airship on this part. And they flew them all the way up to the top of a building where they had like a crate that they can get. So I don't know if that's still there or not, but at least I want to test it if we can. Um, can I take a look around first? I didn't really look around when I first played the game when it was released like that. I want to take a look at everything now. Because if I was a game developer, I'd put like items throughout here like these. Well, stuff that would actually, you know, be beneficial, not just miscellaneous stuff, but it'd be like the best item of the game just sitting right here waiting for you to pick it up. Except you take the elevator, you you know, you pass it and miss it, you know. Uh, what? Sack, got a good jacket. Oh, yeah, I do got my fancier one, but it don't got the gold on it, so. Yeah, there we go. I guess that looks all right, but if we ever go back to wearing street clothes, I'm going to have a bunch of street clothes to pick from. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's just the mounting bracket. I did not realize we were doing this quest. I thought this was later on in the game. I think last time I talked my way in and stuck my way all the way through until we got to the float. And there was tons of people in there. We had to dodge or I had to hack cameras and all kinds of stuff. I don't I have no idea how I'm going to do it with this build. So that mission was kind of tough. See, I'm, I'm going to assume all three life paths have some kind of a, a way to get in. Or maybe not since this is Corpo. You know, maybe that's just the Corpo that has that one specific way of getting in. Maybe I can, you know, I mean, I do have mods, so maybe we can jump a wall or rip open a door some kind of way. So maybe we can get in with our, our modding capabilities, but I have no way of knowing. Looks like there's nothing on these floors, though. Really? Well, let's go. All right, give me a sec. The city was beautiful. If there was anything to admire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Night City is corrupt as hell in every which way. Not exactly the most beautiful city. Let's move. Hate Night City that much. Mm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall okay. Begin? Yeah, see, I think we can ride on one of those. I just remember seeing one video like last year where somebody did it and it, it brought them all the way up somewhere, maybe all the way up to this building, maybe. And there was like a chest right there. I don't know if it's something they took out of the game or if it was something that wasn't even supposed to be there, but I guess we could try to find out. Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. That would taste good. I love me some onigiri. No, even better. With umeboshi plants. Mm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once. Pride on his face. It was a protein bar. So brew Arisaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, <laughs> enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. I mean, I, I, I would take like a nice piece of Kobe beef steak, but that's just me. Let's do this. Alright, let's see. Footbridge, but it's guarded. 
Yeah, heavily guarded. We'll probably use that to jump over the fence, maybe. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Okay, maybe I gotta. Maybe now to let me do it. There we go. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Yep, I can double jump right over that. So that could maybe that could be our way in. And I think this is where we talked our way in. Yep, I can't do that since I'm not Corpo this playthrough. Ooh, maybe we can take a van in. Alright, what else? Uh, is that it? I'm not seeing nothing else outside of that van unless it comes back around. Oh, here we go. Uh, Someone stepped in quicksand. There's serious trouble. A god? I cannot help with this. The procedures here I do not know. Camouflage tourists by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. This is not bad. Got eyes on the comm system. There's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Yep. Alright. I feel like I could, uh, there we go. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? We could. Let me see if there's anything else. Uh, what about that? Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Okay. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Well, I believe we have all we need. Let us analyze what we know already. All right. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. I didn't realize there was that many stuff you can see. Last time I only found like one or two things and that was it. Is this what you said before entering Kambiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, <laughs> Takeneko too. Fox spirits. Frog spirits and cat spirits. Where'd you grow up anyway? Or water spirits, I guess, for the uh, Kappa. I Not necessarily frogs. Shiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. 
corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corporal rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's a matched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes, because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpses more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we.